Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create a smartphone application that can read temperature and humidity values on an ESP8266 using Modbus TCP communication using MIT App Inventor. Let's check it out. In this video, I'm using an ESP8266 board to read temperature and humidity values from a DHT11 sensor. The ESP will act as a Modbus TCP server, and the sensor readings will be stored in holding registers. Here are the details of the registers used. The ESP is connected to the network using Wi-Fi. I've created an application using MIT App Inventor which will act as a Modbus client, connected to the network, and will read values from registers on the Modbus TCP server. Then, the readings from the registers will be displayed on the application, including within gauges in application. The hardware used includes only an ESP8266 board, a DHT11 sensor for obtaining temperature and humidity values, and jumper cables to connect them. Here's the Arduino code I'm using. I've utilized the Modbus ESP8266 library to enable the ESP to communicate via Modbus TCP using Wi-Fi. In the Modbus configuration, I've created four holding registers to store temperature and humidity values. At intervals of every one second, the ESP will read values from the DHT sensor, and then store them in the holding registers. After uploading the code to the ESP, let's take a look at the serial monitor. When it first boots up, the ESP will display its IP address. This address serves as the Modbus TCP server will use in the Modbus client. Additionally, every one second, it will display the temperature and humidity readings. This is the MIT App Inventor Designer interface. The components used are the same as in the previous video, with the difference being the label that will display the temperature and humidity values. Additionally, to display the temperature and humidity data on a gauge, I'm utilizing the canvas component. The non-visible components include the Modbus extension, several clocks for timing the reading intervals, a clock for delaying each register address reading, and a clock for timeout while reading registers. Next, here's the block code in MIT App Inventor. The code blocks are quite lengthy, especially when creating a gauge to display the temperature and humidity values on the canvas. The block for reading temperature and humidity follows a concept similar to what I explained in the previous video. All the code used in this video will be shared, including the MIT App Inventor code and Arduino code. You can find the link in the video description. To support this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Let's try using the MIT App Inventor Companion to run the application. I'll also open the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE to view the readings from the DHT sensor displayed on the serial monitor. On smartphone, make sure the IP address for the Modbus TCP server matches the IP address of the ESP board. To start the connection and begin reading the temperature and humidity values, click the connect button. After connecting to the Modbus TCP server, the application will read the registers for temperature and humidity and display them in the temperature and humidity labels. Additionally, they will be shown on the temperature and humidity gauges. We can observe that every change in sensor readings on the ESP will be displayed on the smartphone application. In conclusion, in this video, We've learned how to create a smartphone application using MIT App Inventor that serves as a Modbus client to communicate with an ESP8266 board acting as a Modbus TCP server. 
By utilizing the DHT-11 sensor and jumper cables, we were able to read temperature and humidity values, store them in holding registers, and display them on the application interface. With this setup, users can remotely monitor real-time environmental data from their smartphones. Don't forget to check the video description for the code links. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, and subscribe for more tutorials. See you in the next video.